what is up guys, Global Gaming here, and today we are doing an H1Z1 video. As you saw from the title, this was a tips and tricks video, so I'm going to give you guys some beginner, like noob, just got the game five seconds ago, want to learn a little bit about it before you jump onto it. That's This video is perfect for you, honestly, this is great. So, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips just to start out with, and just to use, and yeah, it's just going to be awesome. So. For the, um, the very first thing you're going to want to do is your reticle. When you get into your very first game, you want to go to the settings, and you're going to want to set up your reticle. Well, <clears throat> this is very, very important. It's honestly one of the most important things. So, reticle. What we're going to be doing for that is you're going to want to go settings, then you're going to want to go to your gameplay, and then off to the right you'll see your reticles. There's quite a few. I think there's 30 of them that you can choose from. My favorite is in the 20s. It's like 22, 23, and it's a dot. And it, it just, it, that's what it looks like. It just looks like a dot. As you guys can look at the gameplay right now, you guys will see exactly what it looks like. It just looks like a dot, and that's the reticle. I, that's the reticle I use. I love it, and it, it just works really well for getting headshots and getting those two taps on people. And so, yeah. My next tip is sensitivity. You guys need to also work on sensitivity because that's also another really important one. You can't play if you have if you don't have the right sensitivity. Now, don't go to one of the pros. Don't go to Ninja. Don't go to Storm and TV. Don't go to any of them and look at their cross or look at their sensitivity and just copy it. You can look at theirs and get an idea of what you want, but make your own sensitivity. A really good way of doing this is by putting your mouse in the middle of your mouse pad and moving your mouse all the way over to the left side. So just drag it over to the left side, and if you do a 180 turn, that's going to be a pretty good sensitivity for you. Um, you probably want it to be a little bit faster though, because most people they don't use their entire mouse pad, you're usually mainly just using the middle of it. So you want to be able to whip around. Um, in this game, that's really important. So yeah, the next thing that it also kind of revolves around sensitivity is there's, I think, three or four different sensitivities. There's your regular mouse sensitivity, then there is the sensitivity that has to do with zooming in, like scoping. Um, well, yeah, and then there's one that has to just do with, like, when you're zooming in with your regular weapons. The scope sensitivity is, I think, that involves your binoculars and a the sniper. So... Don't really have to worry about the sniper if you're just starting out. Don't go for that. That comes in the military crates. So you just don't even have to worry about that until you get a little bit better at the game. But that's you don't really have to worry about that one too much. You want to worry about your one that is when you're just regularly zooming in with just a regular gun, like the um, AR. So that one should be about half of your normal sensitivity. So my sensitivity is 13, so I put mine at 6 because there's not really like half of 13, so I just do 6. And it seems to work really well for me. And that's that's it. It just works really well. So that's that's perfect. As if you can figure out the perfect sensitivity, just drop it by half on the zoom, and you're gonna have like a banger zoom sensitivity. So the next tip is going to be looting. Looting is it's very important that you just that you just loot quickly. So right when you like skydive down um, from the spawn or wherever, you're what I like to do is just look around. See if like, you can find a cop car. If you don't have the best computer ever, you might not be able to do this because you might have to put your render distance a little bit lower. But if you have a good enough computer, you will be able to see the ground right away. Wait for those cars to spawn in. Um, the Any vehicles that you can actually drive around like I am in the gameplay, those will spawn in before the broken ones. So if you see, if you're looking at a road, like a city or whatever, and you see some, a car spawn in, but there's... There's not very many cars, you only see that one. That's most likely a drivable vehicle. So those ones will render in first, the broken down cars will render in after. So that's a very, very good tip for you guys when you're first starting out. Just go for those cars. But be wary, many, many people know this and they'll go for that. They'll just go straight for the car. So you want to get down there and spam that button that you have for your, um, to get into cars. Mine's E, um, that's probably one of my favorites. When you start out the game, it'll be F. But you're going to probably want to just change that to E. So, yeah. My next tip is going to definitely be with your mouse. Now, depending on what type of mouse you have... Uh, well, it's basically mouse and keyboard. Mouse, uh, if you want to play this game really well, you're probably going to want to invest in a mouse that has buttons on the side. Now, by this, I don't mean get a Razer mouse that's like $100. I don't mean get that, something like that. Literally, this is the mouse I use in my mom's. I use a Magic Eagle um, Habit mouse 
for it's it, you have to guess how much it costs. It costs eight ninety nine on Amazon. Like honestly, who doesn't have eight ninety nine? Like that. Like it's I'm not I'm not using anything crazy. I'm not using like any hundred dollar mouse or anything. Forty dollars like even it's an eight dollar mouse and it's amazing. If you have really small hands and you're not used to a big mouse, this might be harder for you to get used to. But it's a great mouse. Or if you want if you have small hands like I do and you want a little bit smaller mouse. You can get a Logitech mouse. They make mice that have uh, buttons on the side, and you can get like a smaller one of those. I'll leave a link to the Magic Eagle mouse because that's the one I use, and I know it's good because I have it. So yeah, that's the one I really like, and it's eight dollars. So who doesn't like that? So yeah, the keyboard. There's many keyboards. You can get like mechanical keyboards for like twenty dollars. Um, I have the Razer Tournament Edition Chroma. It's the one without the number pad on the side. And I love it. It it's just it works great because um, I don't like the number pad on the side. It just takes up way too much room, and so I mean, not that much room. But I have a smaller desk, so I just keep it. I like the smaller keyboard. And at my dad's, I have a keyboard tray, so it makes more sense to have a smaller keyboard so I have more mouse room. So yeah, it, I mean this this keyboard's like I think sixty or like it's around eighty dollars. But you can get the ones that don't light up if you really don't care about that. And it'll be around 60 or you can just go for like a budget one that's like $20 on Amazon and it'll work great It's a great that'll be a great starter one if you're just getting into PC gaming or whatever So yeah, that's gonna be the well, I'm gonna actually have one more tip for you guys and that is have fun Okay, I've seen so many people on this game that they die they rage like they it's just like I mean, because there's in-game chat, so if somebody gets close to you, they can talk. Like, I'll kill somebody, and then they'll just be, like, screaming at them, like, oh, you suck, and all this stuff, and it just, if you're, if you have that attitude, you're just, you're not going to be having fun. Um, it, you're not, if you're just starting out, you shouldn't be raging. I mean, some of the pros, I guess they could rage, because, I mean, they're, like, pro players, and they actually have a reason to. Um, because, I mean, they're pro they're probably getting, like, 30 kills a game, and they're dying on, like, a 30 kill streak, and, like, about to win, they're- I'd be pretty mad, too, but if you're only getting two kills a game or something, you're not winning, then there's no point in raging, just get- if you want to get better, honestly, just get a group of friends, maybe- I mean, if you have a lot of friends that have the game, um, just tell them- just everybody just go on, uh, fives, and just- you guys all have fun, you'll get- all get better at the same time, and that's- that's honestly what I've been doing. Um, I play a lot of solos though, so if you really want to get better quickly, play solos, but if you just want to have fun while you get better, then, if you want to have more fun while you get better, play with friends, it's just, it's so much fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this video guys, I'm going to have another video up, probably today or tomorrow, and yeah, it's going to be an H1D1, it's probably going to be another tutorial, unless you guys want me to do, like, gameplay or something. Uh, it's just harder because I do not have a webcam yet at my mom's, so... Yeah, there will be no webcam, but I can still make a gameplay video if you guys want, or I can do more tips until I can get a webcam. So yeah, remember to like, comment, and definitely subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Let me know you down and I hit it up. Tell me who you love. Tell me who you love. All my homegirls think I'm getting